guys, to kick off today's video, I want to start off with a little bit of a story time. Let me just prop this camera up so I don't shake the camera too much. Once upon a time, I was very insecure about my underarms. Actually, throughout high school and up to my early 20s, I was so insecure, I would just always want to cover my arms and just not show anybody. There's one specific conversation I remember having with my mom. Bless her, she didn't mean anything by it, but she swung her underarm at me and was like, get used to it, Lauren. The women in our family have big arms. It's in your genetics. There's nothing you can do about it. I was mortified. This insecurity stayed with me and got worse until I was about 22 when I got into the gym and started working out for the first time. At first, all I knew how to do was walk on a treadmill. So I would walk and start losing some body fat, but I noticed my arms weren't getting any better. They actually started making me feel more insecure because I started having some extra skin there without having the muscle tone or anything toning my arms. It just felt like I was getting worse. But then I started weightlifting. What I noticed is that my triceps were actually the part of my body that transformed the fastest. So I wanted to share that with you guys so you know that I've had my own struggles also. As a personal trainer, one thing I hear a lot, especially from women, is that our underarms are a big insecurity of ours. And I want you to know that it's not hopeless. You can take it into your own hands, but it will require some sort of challenge to your underarm to make it tone up and get into a better shape. Dang it, I just realized my thing has been untied this whole time. Anyways, even now where I am with my physique, if I start to slack or eat worse, the two places that I gain weight the fastest are one, my cheeks and my face, and two, my underarms, my triceps. So with all that being said, I have to stay on top of it with my tricep workouts. I actually prefer to work them twice a week. And like I mentioned in my last video, I'm actually out of town visiting some family, so I don't have access to a gym right now. I thought this would be a good time to show y'all a good at-home workout that you can do to like tone up and kind of bring it in a little bit. For these workouts, I'm just gonna be using body weight and resistance bands. For this first exercise, I have these resistance bands, but I'm going to use the heavy weight. This particular band is a little too easy, so I'm going to grab it closer to the face. We can get a good resistance, lunge forward. This lunge is going to give me a good balance and steady foundation. So I'm going to extend my arms forward, and out the front, I'm going to flick my wrist out. We're going to do 15 reps. sets of 15 reps of the overhead band pulls. We're going to turn around and do this next exercise, also four sets of 15 reps. I'm going to grab it again closer to the base to give me a better resistance. I'm going to step back and lean into the movement. I'm leaning into it because I don't have a higher way to tie my band right now. If you're at a place where you can tie your band up higher, you don't have to like do the lean. But in this case, I'm going to put it right here, lean into it, and I'm just going to extend my arms back. And I'm going to hold for a few seconds. I'm going to be doing tricep push-ups and bench dips. Both of these have a modification. If you find the first way too difficult, you can modify it, and I'll show you the easier version also. Here's the thing about tricep push-ups. I'm going to show you from the front view. A lot of people are used to doing push-ups with their arms out like this. This is not how you want to do it. We're going to keep our arms close. Instead of our elbows going out, our elbows are going back and scraping our bodies throughout the whole motion. And my elbows can scrape my body the whole way down, chest touch the ground, and press back up. We're going to do four sets of 15 reps. If you find yourself getting burnt out and you're not able to get yourself back up off the ground, you can modify the movement or the rest of your sets in this way. Put your knees down. If that's still too hard, Closer. Now for bench dips, bench dips. <laughs> Sounds like I'm cursing. I'll show you the easier way first. And the easiest way is to have your feet on the ground, bent or out and slightly bent. Then push your elbows back, press up. If that's too easy, put your legs all the way out, balance on your heels, and then press up. If that's still too easy, I challenge you to do this. Find something to elevate your legs on. It's just you against gravity. All right guys, 
that's all I've got for you today. Thank you for checking out the video. If you found it informative or helpful, take a minute to leave me a comment below or give it a thumbs up. And if you want more content, find me on Instagram at lifting underscore Lauren. Until next time, bye. Thank you.